In an earlier video, I demonstrated a really super but effective technique in which you could highlight chats in your YouTube chat live on your YouTube streams, a bit like this. And loads of people thought, wow, that's kind of awesome. But one of the biggest questions I ever get asked is can I use this technique using Facebook and Twitch? And unfortunately, using that technique, the answer is no. I wanted to find a way that you could highlight comments in Twitch and Facebook live streaming in the same way, but without relying on things like StreamYard, Melon or Restream Studio. Well, I found that solution and I'm going to take you through it now. So let's get to it. So as I said, this is a super simple method in which to highlight individual chat comments in either your Twitch live stream, your Facebook live stream, or your YouTube live stream to really increase that engagement with your audience. And all it involves is downloading a small application to your computer to be able to run this whole thing. So without further ado, I'll show you what I mean. So what you need to do is uh, it's an application, a piece of software called Twidget. OK, so put in Twidget uh, and uh, you can either get it on the Microsoft Store here. It's free, entirely free here. I'm going to get it from the main website here, Twidget. So it's twidgetapp.web.app. If you want to make sure you've got the official one, as I say, it's also on the Microsoft Store. So you download the software here and so basically sort of download it. I've done all that. You go through the setup process. Uh, very straightforward. Now, just a word of warning, when you go to set it up and run the execution file, if you have a sort of virus protection software, it may go, you know, this may be unsafe. Do you sure you want to run it? Put run anyway. It is safe. Your virus software may be a bit unfamiliar with it, but it's absolutely safe. So if that pop-up box comes up, just put run anyway. I'm not going to do that now because I've already installed it, but if you go ahead and you install it, you should be all good. And as I say, you'll see here on the application, they'll just take you through some of the features here. So you can select, unselect comments, the super chat integration. So it sort of highlights it in a different color, super sticker integration. So obviously these are for YouTube specifically, but this works on Twitch as well. Multiple widget designs. So you can sort of change designs about customizable widget sizes and even owner and moderator widget icons. So that's obviously for, for YouTube as well and much, much more. Uh, it integrates with OBS. Setup is super simple. It's free to use and it's easy to use. Um, and it takes you through all the details you need to, as I say, in order for it to operate on your Twitch streams, your YouTube streams, and your Facebook streams, um, all using OBS, which is what I wanted from an application because um, I don't like using StreamYard or Melon or Restream for my kind of main streams. And they're great when you've got guests on and things like that. But if it's just me streaming, then I want to use OBS because it's much more sort of sophisticated and you can do so much things. Um, and there's a range of templates that you can use and all of those things. Anyway, once you've downloaded the software and you've run the execution file, uh, then what you are greeted with is the following. So the first thing first is to sign into the app and you sign in using your Gmail or something like that. So I've signed in, just, just click sign in with uh, Gmail. Uh, I'm not sure whether it has to be your YouTube one specifically, but uh, it doesn't really matter because if you're going to use it for Twitch or Facebook, just sign in. Uh, with your email accordingly and you're all good. And then if you come down here, uh, you'll see these sort of toggle switches here. Click on that and it will give you a choice of templates that you can use th uh, there. So obviously that's kind of a youtube -y type one, a classic, minimalist, edge, dark one, if you like a dark one. Um, these are all YouTube examples, but don't worry about that. As I said, I keep going to repeat it just so you're clear. This works on Twitch and it works on Facebook streaming. Um, I'm going to go for the classic. I think it looks quite nice. Uh, super chats. Uh, yeah, super chat clean, super sticker standard. That's all cool. I'm happy with that. So you can just um, choose the OBS chat templates that you want to use. Fine, that's cool. And the next thing is it's going to take you through the OBS setup. So what we need to do is we need to create a browser source. OK, so uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up a browser source in OBS. If you're familiar with the OBS, you should know how all this works, but I'll take you through it anyway, very, very quickly. And the browser source that we're going to use 
is this here, localhost colon 3000 forward slash source, okay? So basically what that is, is like a URL, but a URL to the software on your PC. So it's not a URL, um, you know, in the cloud or anything like that. It is a specific URL that's on your local PC and that's how it's going to kind of function. So as I say, we're going to set up, I'll take you through. It, it takes you all through what you need to do here. Very straightforward, but I'll take it, I'll take you through what you need to do on your OBS now. Okay, so here we are on OBS, okay? Uh, and what we need to do is uh, basically, all you need to do is add a browser. Now you can add a browser. If I wanted to add a browser, say straight into this scene, into this scene here, I could just add it down here, just add a browser. But what I like to do is set these things up, uh, set up my different elements as separate scenes, but you can add it straight in here by just adding browser. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a scene because I just think it's more flexible. If you're going to use the live chat in lots of different scenes, it's always best to have one. And then if you make one change to that kind of chat, it'll uh, make the same change across all the scenes that you're using that chat in. It will make sense. Trust me. Anyway, so what we're going to do is set up a scene here. So I just clicked on here to ready to set up a scene. We're going to call it Twidget. Okay. Call it anything you want. Uh, and then in sources, we're going to add a browser source. Okay. And we're going to create a new source and we'll call it Twidget1 just for the sake of it. And because you can't, you can't have a source, which is the same name as you've seen. So we're going to call it Twidget1. We're going to go OK. Uh, and then here you go. We're going to change the URL to the URL that we were given. If I drag this across here, you should be able to see it, uh, that we were given here yeah this url here so that's what we're going to use it's going to copy that Control c plop it in there and then also i notice on the widget it says set the width to 450 and 500 so 450 and 500 okay and we're done and there you go there is the app chat app ready waiting uh to go now there's a couple of other things you just need to do once that's set up uh you need to add in this custom css uh here so just highlight that and again Control c and then we're going to go down to the properties here properties and you'll see here custom css you have scrolled down here click that in there press ok and then there's one other thing you need to do uh, and it says here, click here, refresh browser when scene becomes active. So every time you click on this scene, it refreshes the browser, make sure it's up to date and the information in there is up to date. So again, go to the properties, click on refresh browser when scene becomes active, press OK, and you are done on that bit. And the app here is ready to go. So we'll just close that setup there. Okay. So the next thing is obviously you want to be able to connect it to your Twitch stream or your YouTube stream or your Facebook stream. Okay. Okay. So this is what you need to do. So press on start and there we are. You there, you've got your choices. Okay. So if you're going to use it on YouTube here, you need to enter the YouTube URL of your live stream. So if we come back here, you'll see here, what it wants is your live YouTube, your live YouTube URL here. Click the start button and you enter the live stream URL, including the HTTPS of your YouTube stream there. So when you're you know live streaming from YouTube studio, you highlight that live stream URL and that's what it wants to put in. And with Facebook, it's the same. You can also connect to Facebook live stream you're by pasting the Facebook URL to the Twidget once you've logged in with Facebook. So uh, you need to remember to do that. Okay, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it to Twitch. So all you need to do is put in your Twitch URL. Uh, so mine, I'm just going to use uh, Twitch here and connect it. 
Okay, and then we should be connected. So if I go over to Twitch now, so here we are on uh, Twitch, and then uh, what you need to do is then sort of go live. So I've set up. So I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go live uh, into my uh, Twitch chat. Uh, Yo, this is awesome. Okay. And then if we look at the app here, you can see, uh, uh, I'll bring it over here. Well, you can see actually on the screen there. Let me just bring it over here and you can see it better. Um, there it is. This is awesome. So we go back to the Twidget scene and I click on select here. There you are. Lord Kenzel, this is awesome. Yeah. So we now we know it's working with Twitch. Okay. So what we need to do is add this chat scene into my, my main scene. So if we go to my main scene here, which is this one, me and chatting here. Uh, and then I add uh, a, a source and the source we're going to add is that scene that we've created add existing find twidget there it is twidget add that boom there it is this is awesome as you can see on my live stream so every, every time anybody puts anything in the chat wow it Why it actually works on Twitch, you can just select, you can unselect a comment and then you can select it. Why it actually works on Twitch, you can uh, obviously, once you've got it working, you can sort of decide to move the box around. So maybe I want it down there, move it over there. There we go. So as you can see, it works really, really well. And uh, I have to say, big shout out to uh, Zach, Zaki. Uh, who was the creator of this application here. Um, really, really cool to integrate. I hope it wasn't too confusing because I was using my live Twitter stream to demonstrate how it works while at the same time recording my screen of what was happening behind the scenes. So hopefully it made sense. It is very, very straightforward. And if you go to the twidgetapp.web.app site, uh, it does take you through everything you need to do, uh, the details, um, shows you how to kind of connect and all of that. And it's really, really, uh, as I say, really, really simple to do. And uh, as I mentioned before, if you're going to kind of live stream with YouTube, then all you need to do is you go to your live stream, go live as it were. Uh, so you're in your YouTube studio here. So I'm just going to go stream here. Uh, assume I've connected all my OBS and everything uh, accordingly. Obviously the URL that you need here is this bit at the top, uh, which is your live stream uh, URL. So you just need to copy that. And then uh, and the Twidget thing, when you're ready to start, you just, all you do is you put the URL of your YouTube live stream straight in here like this. And uh, straight away, what will uh, happen, you can see it's loading now, even though I'm not actually live streaming, but you can see behind the scenes here, it's loaded in chat that I've already got stored up in here as well. And the same principle works. So if we go back, so I just select what I want. And if we go back to my main um, scene with the uh, chat stuff on it, there we go. So now you can see the main scene here and I'm selecting the apps uh, accordingly, the comments and they're just appearing. And this time it's uh, for YouTube and it's not for Twitch. So super, super simple. And if you stream to Facebook, then it's exactly the same uh, principle. Once you've connected to Facebook, you put in the streaming URL accordingly, and then you'll connect to Facebook uh, live streaming as well. So really, really uh, easy, a great, great app. I hope you find that useful. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then do me the massive favor of hitting those likes because I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you found this really useful as well, and you're new here, do me the honor of hitting that subscribe button, toggling that notification bell, so you know when I go live with content like this. 
Thank you for your time and I'll see you around very, very soon. Thank you.